holidays to those of you that celebrated Christmas um, or Hanukkah or both in the past um, week. Um, I celebrated Christmas and it was amazing. It was wonderful. Um, I think actually this holiday was probably one of the best um, yet. So it was uh, my son's first Christmas. He is two months old. And my daughter's four, so she's also at a really, really fun age. Um, so this year is just a really, really blessed year. Um, my little brother serves in the Army, and he got to come home for Christmas. So uh, my entire family was together, and, you know, we just had, like, three full days of just eating and drinking and opening presents and just being together, um, you know, between my family and my husband's family. So it was just a really, really, really amazing Christmas this year. Also, the fact that, you know, I have two little babies to share it with, that doesn't hurt either. Um, so really quick, before I run out to run some errands, I wanted to film this video for you. This is probably the gazillionth video on this topic on YouTube, but since it is such a hot topic and this is a product that I am so excited about, I really, really, really wanted to give my input too. I kind of wanted to take a step back and, and watch reviews on YouTube and see what people thought of these before I like ran out and spent the money on them. Um, so, you know, with that being said, obviously from the title you can probably already tell, but I have some Revlon lip butters here. I have five of them to be exact. And right off the bat, I just want to tell you that I love them. So this is going to be a rave review. Um, it's not going to be a negative review. I really don't really have anything negative to say. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, the colors that I got, which I'll list right off to you. I'll go from like in range of like darkest to lightest. Um, I got Raspberry Pie, which is this one. Uh, berry Smoothie. Strawberry Shortcake, which is on my lips right now, um, Cupcake, and Sugar Frosting, which is, the I think, the lightest one in the entire collection. Um, I guess the first thing I'm going to start with is the packaging. Um, I love the packaging because the packaging is so, like, I think it's just so girly and, like, pretty. It's a translucent, um, Mommy, what? I love you. I love you, too. It's, it's a translucent top, so you can see through it. And I really, I don't know, I, I don't know how to explain it. I just really like that. I think it looks really cute. But the cap is in the lipstick shade. And that's something that I love because, you know, when I'm, like, digging through all my lipsticks, I can't, I hate, like, picking up and, like, having to look at it and see, like, which one it is. So the fact that, like, I have all of these and the tops match the shade that it is, I can just quickly find the one that I'm looking for, grab it, and go. So that's something that I really like about the packaging. Um, in terms of price, I know that these range depending on where you find them. Um, some people I think found them on sale at Target for like five dollars. Um, some places have them for like seven and change, like upwards to like eight dollars. Um, three of them I actually got as a Christmas gift from my husband. So those, you know, I think he actually got buy two get one free at Ulta. And when I went back, I got them buy one, get one half. So, you know, it really depends. Um, because they are a drugstore product, the wonderful thing about that is that you will get whatever sale is going on. And I know that a lot of drugstores frequently do sales on Revlon products. So that's always a really good, um, that's always a really good thing. So um, in terms of the product itself, um, I'm in love with every color that I got. I think that the color is incredibly, incredibly pigmented for what you're getting. Um, it's so moisturizing and like silky smooth like on your lips. I have incredibly dry lips. 
Um, so the fact that these are kind of like a lip like treatment mixed in with like lip gloss slash lipstick is amazing. Um, the color you get is extremely pigmented, but you get that glossy finish. So I think the only one that I have that's really not like incredibly pigmented is the Sugar Frosting. There are like a bunch more that I want to get my hands on still, but you know, I'm not going to, I don't have the money to just run out and buy like all 20 of them. <laughs> uh, so I do have to get them little by little. Um, there's a bunch of the red shades that I really wanted to try. And I found out that these were a permanent product for the Revlon line. It's not um, like a limited edition thing. So that's always nice to know because once the hype wears down, then more of the shades will become available and then they'll be easier to find. Um, and that's also a really good thing because two of them I think are going to be like, I'm probably going to use up really quick because I use them all the time. So... Um, I know a lot of people were complaining about them not being a long wearing product. The fact that they're very moisturizing and silky smooth and, and you know, conditioning, I think is why they're not really long, long lasting. Um, anytime you have a long wearing product, it tends to be a little bit on the drying side. Um, however, in my case, I don't find that they wear off my lips that fast. Um, I find that I get pretty good staying power. I mean, I don't just use one coat. I kind of like use a couple coats and maybe that's why they stay on my lips longer, but they don't wear off so fast that I get annoyed with them, if that makes any sense. Um, another thing is people were complaining about them breaking the tubes or what whatnot. The product is a moisturizing product, so it's going to be very smooth. Um, so that means if you push really hard on it, it's going to break. The same thing happens with you know, the MAC, uh, I think they're the Lusters or whatever the glaze um, finishes in the lipstick. I know that they melt or break really easy, but that's just the way that that formulation of a lip product, you know, is. It's very soft, so when you apply it, you always want to make sure that you're applying it lightly and you're not using, like, a really heavy, hard hand. Also, when you're swatching it, if you're doing a video, you know, you want to make sure that you're swatching it the same way that you put it on your lips. You know, you don't want to just like push into your skin and then obviously it's going to break. Um, so that's my opinion on the product itself. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and swatch the ones that I got really fast for you. This is Raspberry Pi and that's one swipe. See that it's incredibly super pigmented. Um, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's like a great nighttime color. Um, it's so like juicy looking. I just love it. I like to eat these. I love them. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is the Berry Smoothie. I'm going to swatch it. It's a little bit more sheer than... It's more sheer than the Raspberry Pi. But you can see it still has that beautiful like berry, like juicy color. I love it. The next one is the one that I have on my lips. Strawberry Shortcake. That's strawberry shortcake right there. It's a beautiful, like, um, just like a bubblegum pink, I would say. This one is my favorite one. It's like probably up there in like my favorite like lip products of all time. Like this next one is probably going to be the one that I wear the most. This is um, this is cupcake. It's that one right there. And it's like the most perfect, like, blue-toned, like, milky baby pink. Um, it's got that same, like, color in, like, the NARS Turkish Delight, like, I think, like, the Bonnie Bell Strawberry Parfait, like, like, all of them, I think, are in that same, like, cool-toned pink family. And then the last swatch I'm going to do is that Sugar Frosting. And this is not really like a heavy color. This is more of like a glaze on your lips. So you, I don't even know if that's going to show up. But you can see like the like the shimmer of where it was. Um, that one is more of like a, you know, if you're like going grocery shopping or if you are doing like, you know, a very heavy, heavy eye and you want like almost nothing on your lips, I would use this one um, because it's it's a product for your lips, so your lips look like they have 
something like they look like they have like a nice enhancement to them but you're not gonna look at someone and say bam she's got you know a color on her lips um, as you would probably say with like the raspberry pie so those are the ones that I got um, again there's my sh my swatches and I love them and I'm probably going to be repurchasing them over time and like I said um, you know, I didn't do the review and like run out and buy these right off the bat because I really wanted to kind of hang back and see what, you know, they were all about and see if the hype was worth it. In my opinion, it's totally worth it. Um, but yeah, so that's it. These are my lip butters. I love them. I will love them forever. And that is my little review. It's probably like not a very good review. I'm not really good at reviewing products, um, I have to say. It's not like my strong point. Um, so I hope you guys get what I was trying to come across saying. Uh, look for them in future tutorials because I'm sure that I will be using them and wearing them and that's it. So you guys all have a fabulous, fabulous new year. Um, be safe, be responsible. Thank you again for tuning in. Ugh, excuse my crazy, crazy hair. This is what my hair is like when I yeah. let it go natural. It's a little bit crazy. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Mommy.